during the day when you're when you're when you're day trading if that's something that you're doing or getting into or want to do um, there are times when it's good to day trade and there are times when it is not and the times when it is good to day trade are when the stock is moving up or down like a lot like continuously what they call trending so it just keeps going and going and going in either direction and then uh, there's times when it's not a good idea to be trade day trading and that's when it's doing what's called chopping or ranging so when it's going like just kind of you know it's making a little progress here and then it comes back and you know it, it can be hard to know in the beginning like how to identify that and I'm gonna show you how you can identify that um, and it's kind of like it's really easy actually once you know how um, so just in general generally speaking one of the best ways you can know how is if the price goes up like in a direction over many minutes you know and then it comes down again and it comes down a lot like more than 50% they call that retracement so if it goes up and then it comes down uh, how much it goes down is a percentage of of the of the move that it went up so let's say it went up you know a certain amount and then it came back down over the course of whatever number of bars uh, maybe 50% so halfway um, it, we would call that 50% retracement so whenever the price of the stock retraces in these rallies these 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 you know runs that it goes on whenever the price retraces more than 60% so 60% and more then you are most likely in a choppy region once it does that one time you might be in that trade you might be in that trade you do that one time and, and then through my strategies you, you know when to get out and so maybe you got out at about 25% drop somewhere in there you might have only got out at the 50% point but once it comes back down to about 60% you're now on alert this stock is retracing too much it's it's giving back everything that it goes up and so now it's in a chop zone so I'm gonna zoom up here and I'll show you today when I was trading AMD uh, here's what uh, you can do uh, where is that okay hopefully you can see this uh, so I could see right here that this rally went up and retraced almost 90% that's like full full chop zone at that point like this stock is just gonna be chopping and chopping and chopping and, and there's no reason to enter even if you get a signal so if your strategy has a signal you don't want to enter when it's in a chop zone and this works on like let's you could pretend this is a daily chart okay this would work on a daily chart any chart it's for identifying when you're in the chop zone and you don't want to be trading in the chop chop zone because it's gonna go nowhere uh, so you can see that it retraced like that so then what I do is I put a, a line on the low end of that where that rally started in the high end of that and to me uh, that means that if the price were to ever get out of there that possibly we've broken out of that problem that problem that chop range it's, it's called ranging when a stock does that and um, and so that's one way you can kind of like put a little lines on your chart so you can be watching them and monitoring them usually the price can take a long time okay um, but one thing you're gonna notice is that that happens mostly in the middle of the day because there just isn't enough significant number of buyers if you look at the volume on the chart for the whole day I'll zoom back a little bit somebody's talking hello okay uh, Sean was almost talking for a minute there uh, so you can see at the beginning of the day there's more volume and then in the middle of the day it's low volume and then by the end of the day volume goes up it's a bowl there's always a bowl in the market and lunchtime in the middle you know and it's just people are active and ready at 9 30 when the bell rings in Eastern time um, but by lunchtime you know it's everyone's gone off and done their thing you know the first 
see like if you look at this stock this is a m d even though it did continue to basically rise throughout the day it basically made the most of its move smoothly like it it made its decision in the first hour so that's the next tip i'm going to give you is if you do any day trading limit your day trading to the first hour of the market so 9 30 a.m to 10 30 a.m because it is most likely after that point going to start to chop it, it there might be little rallies that you can catch but it, you're going to start to uh, being stopped out of your play and you're going to lose 20 bucks here and you lose 40 bucks there and you're going to start to give back everything you made in the morning so in general it actually is better to just trade the first hour of the day and then possibly the last hour of the day and at most go one extra hour in the morning so 9 30 to 11 30 and that's like at most like that second hour is like a real low um probability hour the first hour is the best and really the first half an hour is where the most gains are going to happen and you really want to be in your play within like the first few minutes of the market opening you want to have some stock you might be watching a few of them and you want to have some stock that you go with that is giving off signals that it's gonna go ahead and take direction you know something that's giving off signals that it's not taking direction you wouldn't take but if you see something taken off uh, with the proper like the signals that I've been teaching then you go jump in that and hopefully it pans out and it does what it seems to be doing using the techniques that I've shown you with the 200 moving average and the 20 moving average and uh, possibly some of the other ones that I've, I've been teaching in some of the subsequent classes uh, you should be able to know how to get into those particular stocks that are gonna take off in either the down direction or the up direction based on that and I can go over that again later but I just basically want to now just really um, cover the concept of trade when it's trending and don't trade when it's chopping because you're not gonna get anything out of it and probably you're gonna go in it's gonna go against you and you're gonna lose money and you're just gonna keep losing money in that chop 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 zone it's a chop zone you know <laughs> from 10:32 to near the end of the day